Welcome to the Psy Guys. On today's episode, Polymers. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Mark. And we're the Psy Guys. Today's episode, Polymers and Goo. <laughs> it feels really good between my toes. Polymers are chains of repeating molecules formed through a process called polymerization. Their physical characteristics can range from anything like a hard plastic to a soft ooze. The equipment you're going to need for this experiment is a couple mixing bowls, measuring cup and a measuring spoon, and the ingredients include borax, some clear Elmer's glue, and some food coloring, whatever color you want. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous in this episode, it's never a bad idea to wear safety glasses and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. To start, measure out one cup of warm water and pour it into the first bowl. Then add one half teaspoon borax. Mix this solution until all the borax has been fully dissolved into the water. To the second bowl, add one cup of warm water and the entire five ounce bottle of glue. Mix this solution thoroughly. Pick out your favorite color of food coloring and add a few drops to solution too. Stir this solution until the color has been fully mixed in. The final step is to pour solution 1 into solution 2 and mix the solutions together. This is best done with your hands. You will know when you're done mixing when your ooze has absorbed all the liquid in the bowl. You now have a great example of a polymer that you can play with. Let's look at this reaction a little closer. Polymers are made up of millions of repeating molecules that are all attached together to form an extremely long chain or line. Substances made up of polymers look, feel, and act depending on how the molecules in their structures are connected. Some polymers are sticky and gooey, some are bouncy, others are hard. The glue we are using contains an ingredient called polyvinyl acetate. Polyvinyl acetate is a liquid polymer. The borax in our solution links the individual molecules of polyvinyl acetate to each other, creating one large flexible substance. This process is called polymerization. The ooze created in this experiment has molecules that easily slide past each other. These types of molecules give our polymer properties like a liquid. This means the polymer can take on the shape of the container it is stored in, or ooze and drip between your fingers if you hold it in an outstretched hand. As the water evaporates out of your ooze, the polymer will get more stiff and less like a liquid and more like a rubber. If you massage a little water into your polymer, it should help restore some of the liquid properties. Make sure to store your polymer in a Ziploc bag with as much air as possible removed and store it in the fridge to prevent molding. Well, that's polymers. Thanks for watching and remember to comment and subscribe on YouTube. And follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And if you have any comments related to science or suggestions for episodes, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Well, that's it. Yep. Bye. Bye. You're right. It does feel good between your toes. It does. Here at Psy Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.